While biomarkers show promise to help personalize mesothelioma treatment, there are also several limitations to keep in mind when using them for precision medicine approaches. Here are some of the main challenges. Lack of validation in large clinical trials, for most biomarker candidates identified in mesothelioma research, the clinical validity and utility has not been proven in large prospective clinical trials. Researchers have associated various genetic mutations, protein expression levels, and other molecular characteristics with mesothelioma prognosis or response to certain therapies. However, more research with hundreds or thousands of patients is still needed to definitively show the predictive power of most biomarkers when used to guide real-world treatment decisions. Without this level of clinical validation, there is uncertainty around how strongly biomarkers can be relied upon to customize a patient's care plan. Tumor Heterogeneity Mesothelioma tumors, like many cancers, are heterogeneous with different genetic mutations, biomarkers, and molecular subtypes that can exist even within the same tumor. Biopsy samples used to profile a tumor for biomarkers may not fully represent this heterogeneity if only a small region is analyzed. There is a risk that treatment decisions based on limited sampling could overlook subclones in the tumor that may actually lead to resistance. Researchers are exploring ways like liquid biopsies to better capture tumor heterogeneity through biomarkers in blood, but full characterization remains challenging. This heterogeneity introduces uncertainty in how well a small biopsy profile truly represents a patient's overall disease. Intertumoral variation Not only our individual mesothelioma tumors heterogeneous, but biomarker profiles can differ between separate tumor deposits in the same patient as the disease progresses or metastasizes over time. A biopsy of one lesion may show a biomarker abnormality, but other sites may have evolved different molecular characteristics in response to selective pressures. Relying on biomarkers from only one site introduces uncertainty that targeted therapies may not be fully effective against other tumor areas. Researchers are exploring liquid biopsies to detect cancer cells or molecular remnants in blood as a way to overcome this intertumoral variation issue. Context Dependence of Biomarkers The clinical relevance of some biomarkers appears to depend on additional factors like histology, prior treatments, biomarkers co-occurring in the same tumor, and other patient and disease characteristics. Some studies have suggested certain mutations or proteins may have different prognostic or predictive implications depending on other biomarkers present or prior therapies received but fully characterizing these context dependencies requires much larger data sets than currently exist for mesothelioma. Without fully understanding context dependence, it adds uncertainty when using biomarkers alone to select precision therapies for an individual patient. Limitations of biopsy samples Tissue biopsies used to detect biomarkers is inherently limited as they provide only a tiny snapshot sample of the entire tumor burden. Biopsies are invasive, carry risks to patients, and tumors may evolve quite differently than what the static biopsy represents. Factors like necrosis, infiltrating inflammation, sample quality and quantity, location of biopsy all introduce variability into what biomarkers can be detected reliably. Some biomarkers like DNA mutations can usually be detected from small samples, but protein expression levels assessed through immunohistochemistry are more prone to sampling issues given tumor biology is dynamic rather than static. This introduces variability into how well a biopsy truly represents a patient's disease for treatment decision making. Moving biomarker targets, as researchers continue investigating the complex molecular underpinnings of mesothelioma, new biomarker candidates are regularly being identified that may have importance for targeted therapies or prognosis. However, most of these new candidates still need to undergo extensive clinical validation before they could confidently be used to guide care. There is therefore a risk that by the time some biomarkers make it through full research and FDA approval processes, the disease may have evolved or new mutation targets emerged, reducing their long-term clinical relevance over just using them in ongoing clinical trials. The rapidly moving understanding of cancer biology introduces uncertainty in how durable any single biomarker profile may be for personalizing long-term care.
cost and accessibility, conducting the extensive genomic and biomarker profiling needed for truly personalized precision oncology comes at a substantial cost, both for expensive molecular diagnostic tests and data analysis. These costs can be prohibitive for many patients and healthcare systems. Without widespread insurance coverage and affordability, limitations remain in how many patients will practically be able to access the level of biomarker analysis needed to customize their care. There are also challenges in making these sophisticated biomarker tests available in community cancer centers rather than just major academic research hospitals. Until profiling can be more scalable and accessible, these economic and practical limitations reduce how many patients can benefit from biomarker-guided precision treatments in the real-world setting. Reliance on correlative studies While ongoing and future interventional clinical trials are incorporating biomarker analyses, many precision oncology approaches today still rely heavily on results from observational biomarker prognostic and correlative studies from prior trials that were not prospectively designed around biomarkers without the rigors of prospective validation in a clinical trial there are limitations in how strongly inferences can be drawn about a biomarker's predictive value from retrospective biomarker analyzes alone Relying too heavily on correlative data without subsequent formal prospective trials increases uncertainty in treatment decision-making based on biomarkers. Biomarker complexity, it is becoming clear that combinations of biomarkers rather than single markers alone may be needed to capture the full complexity of cancer biology and best predict treatment responses or resistance mechanisms. However, analyzing complex interactions between multiple biomarkers greatly expands the dimensionality of data required and statistical issues around large biomarker panels. Modeling interactions between dozens or hundreds of biomarkers is extremely challenging with the datasets currently available for mesothelioma. This complexity increases uncertainty around how to reliably incorporate high-dimensional biomarker profiles into routine clinical decision-making. As highlighted in this detailed answer, while biomarkers hold promise to personalize mesothelioma treatment, their clinical use remains limited today by a lack of large definitive validation trials, tumor heterogeneity, dynamic disease biology, technical and statistical challenges, as well as practical economic barriers. Overcoming these limitations will require substantial ongoing research efforts and investment, but eventually can help optimize care by directing therapies to patients most likely to benefit from them.